gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? In a battle for the ages, we find the stage set and the bout ready to begin. In one corner, Pat Dobbins is an industry leader with tried and true technology of loose tube cable and the 70S Plus Single Fusion Splicer. And in the other corner, the challenger, Robert McPherson, with the spider web ribbon wrapping tube cable and the 70R Plus Mass Fusion Splicer. The rules are simple. Both cables and closures have been laid out and ready for the matchup. The first person to splice all 12 fibers will be our victor. Ready? Splice! All right, we're ready for the splice off. Rob will be working with the AFL Spiderweb ribbon. He already has a ribbon loaded into his fiber holder. Pat Dobbins is working with the traditional loose tube cable. Removal of the acrylate coating, and there he goes. He's using a thermal stripper to remove that acrylate coating. Pat Dobbins will be using similar equipment. He's already got his first fiber stripped and cleaved, and he's loading it into his splicer. Rob is still working on removing the acrylate coating with the thermal stripper. Yep, there it is. Pat is putting his fiber into the splicer already. Rob will be looking to do his first cleave on the spider web ribbon. However, Pat is already significantly ahead of getting the first fiber loaded into the splice machine. Rob has now cleaned off his fiber. He's now reaching for the CT50 Precision Cleaver. He's loading the fiber holder into the cleaver. He's going to be making his first cleave, and that's it! His first cleave is finally completed. He's loading that into the splicer. Rob still has one more spiderweb ribbon to prepare. But Pat Dobbins is significantly ahead of Rob when it comes to number of splices performed. Pat is already working on his second splice. Rob has not yet completed his first splice, but he's making up some ground now. He's getting ready to do his second preparation of the spider web ribbon. He will load it into the fiber holder. There he goes. It's going into the fiber holder. Next, it will be going into the fiber stripper to remove the acrylate coating. There's Pat. He's reached for his third fiber. So Pat is already getting ready to complete his third burn. He has a significant head start on Rob. Rob is loading his second spiderweb ribbon into the thermal stripper. It will take a few seconds to remove that, but Pat is like a machine. You can see how quickly he's moving through the process. He already has the third fiber set and ready to go, and he'll be loading it into the splicer shortly and pushing the button and making the splice. Rob is still working on completing his first splice setup. He's now putting his second spiderweb ribbon into the precision cleaver. That's it. Now he has his second spiderweb ribbon cleaved and ready to go. He will be loading that into the splicer momentarily. And he'll have to go through the burn process, but now that's it. He's got both fibers loaded into the splicer. He closed the wind protector. He's got the splicer activated and his burn is complete. Rob has completed his 12 fiber splice, a single burn with the 70R, and he's burned 12 fibers at once. He'll now be putting on the shrink tube, loading it into the heat chamber to complete the shrink tube process. Pat Dobbins is still working through his set of fibers. We'll have to see where Pat is, but wait, that's it. Robert McPherson is our winner! That's the beauty of the spider web ribbon. 12 fibers burned with a single splice. Meanwhile, Pat Dobbins continues to work through his set of fibers. Looks like he's now completing his fourth splice. He's not even halfway through his total number of fibers burned. Rob is now going to sit back and take some time to reflect on just how easy that was. Now that is what spiderweb ribbon technology does for you. It allows someone with relatively little experience to splice 12 fibers in just a few minutes, which shows you just how much time spiderweb ribbon can save you compared to traditional loose tube cable. 
The victor is clear. AFL spider web ribbon wrapping two cable and the 70R take the day. Contact an AFL representative to find out more about how your company can win the fight every time with AFL in your corner.